One of the activities I'd like you guys to do is we're going to be and starting next week, so it hasn't started yet, but it'll begin next week, is to start engaging with all this sea of information that's out on the web. Okay, so it's a very open way for you guys to do that. Uh, there's two main things. We have a, a scoop it site, and then we have our blog. Uh, so our scoop it site is for stuff you see. Right, seeing something in the newspaper, see something on the website, see something on Facebook, see something whatever that pertains to broadly, like right? you know, anything related to what we're talking about here. It could be 3D printing, it could be programming, it could be privacy laws, whatever. Um, grab that, throw it up on our on our scoop it post, a scoop it site. I'll show you that in one second. And the only thing I'd like you to do there is go ahead and post that that material, um, and then add a sentence or two description. So just give us some kind of context. This is a great example of problems with personal privacy, something like that. And then tag it. Uh, next is our blog. With our blog, I'd like you guys to do one posting a week. We're going to rotate around. I'll, I'll, I'll create an Excel file so we can all have, have it laid out. But um, I have assigned themes for each of you each week. Okay, so. Um, you have to do a blog posting on something, news story, article you see, video you watched, whatever, related to these broad topics. Conservation, search and rescue EMS, sensors, new technology, business or behavior. Conser so conservation is twice because we do that, so I made it bigger. Uh, entertainment or art, illegal or highly dangerous slash risky uses. I know you won't have any fun looking for that. Um, Anti-drone technology or accidents. Uh, legislation or lawsuits, that kind of stuff. Okay, so, so if so, what you're going to do is every week, and so the scoop it post, I'd like you guys to have that done by Friday at nine, right? So before our class. So, so you can do it tonight. You can do it Sunday night. You can do it, but just by that date, no later than that time. For the blog, it's Monday of that week. The reason being, I want you guys to then comment on, uh, on other folks' blogs. So I want you guys to be looking at the blog. It's not just you barf it up and run away. I'm trying to see if we can get a dialogue going about some of the stuff outside of, of class proper. So for example, uh, this first week, I've assigned everybody their topic. So uh, Hunter is doing something related to con conservation. Uh, everybody else has their assignments. And then next week, we'll all switch. So then next, so for example, this, everybody just rock down one, right? So Hunter is gonna do con conservation this week, and then next week he'll do on, an, on search and rescue or EMS or disaster response, right? So, so every week there'll be some postings about each of these topics, okay? And uh, you guys will be uh, needing to do your post by Monday at nine, and then, Sometime before Thursday, you need to have looked at at least written a sentence or two about these, you know, comment on the blog, blogs of uh, either comment on the blog postings or someone else's comment on those blog postings. Just somewhere in the comments, give a reaction, throw, throw up an, a counter example, something of that nature. So if you've not used Scoop It, it's very easy to use. This is a web curation site. Everybody in the class has been added as uh, and you too, Kiki, has been added as a con contributor. Uh, people that are in our AAR research group contribute, right? This is for anything vaguely related. So here's one about a poll. Here's one about GoPros imploding. Um, here's about FAA stuff. Here's one about uh, some new ruling, you know, all that kind of stuff. So anything broadly related, nothing, nothing offensive <laughs> or, or, you know, no string of cuss words or anything like that. But but again, this is, this is available to you guys and the general public. So people see this, there's various folks that follow this. So you're gonna go in and uh, you can choose how you wanna do it. You can copy a link and paste it in here directly, but each of you have been added as, uh, so you'd, you'd have to go on and it's just scoop.it if you guys haven't used this before and that, that takes you to the site. And if you log on, you'll be, you're, you're a, a curator for our, this site. And so if you wanna create your own, you could do that. Um, so, but let me just show you really quickly. It, it's not very complex. I've added a button which you can install 
I'll make a little web video for everyone in after after class so you guys can see how to do it. But for example, it's this, it's just this easy. So if I said something like new FAA rules for drones or something, I don't know. And let's say this is the thing I wanted to talk about. I don't know what the heck this is. Uh, here's a press release. So let's say this is the thing I wanted to do. I've, I've grabbed this bookmarklet button. All I got to do is touch that, smack that guy. News sites tend to work best. See, the FAA has their heads up their butt. So, so the, the, they totally don't have this properly uh, referenced and everything. But if it was a news site, it would do a blurb, an excerpt of the, of the subject. In this case, I'm just going to type something and say, this is, this is the newest press release from the FAA. And it might add a couple more sentences or something, right? Um, I can, so this will usually be populated if it's a news site that you're getting this from with the actual blurb from the news site. I can add my own comments by typing stuff in here. I can go up here, I can change the title if I don't like the title. If I wanna delete the press release, if I just wanna say something like that. I can add in a new picture, I can have no picture, it's up to me. And then in the bottom down here, it says advanced option, I wanna say something like FAA, and I want to say something like policy and, and you know, I can, I can add whatever helper things I want. And then all I do is say publish and that's it. It's not complex. You don't need to spend hours and hours and hours. You don't need to format all this kind of stuff. Just uh, go on register, uh, you know, um, post something and you're good to go. So this is, I'm updating this right now. So it's not, it's not, it looks, it looks generic. But this is our, our website for the class, esrm370.piratelab.org. I've also added all of you guys as contributors to this. So this is where you guys do your blog posts. So this is, we have a little bit more control here. We have a little bit more space. Um, it's very easy to use if you've not used WordPress. It's a WordPress-based website. Again, I'll have a video for you this afternoon if you guys are totally new to that. Or you guys can hang out and I can go over with you getting established but it's very simple um, you would just log on through your C, through our CI keys log on which I'll explain in a second but basically you would just come on here and you would come up to posts and you would say you'd say new post and it's just that simple you type in a title and this is I don't know what you guys find you guys something FAA uh, press release or something right and I'd say hey, the FAA has, you know, da 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 right? You say whatever I want to say. I can paste, I can upload pictures by using this ad media. I, if, I found a, if I found a video I liked, if I found a video I liked, like this one, here's Paul Spar talking about something. All right. I can just come up to that video, grab that, and actually go directly into the text and hit paste and it pops it all in. You don't need to do any HTML coding. It's, it's very, very, it, it's not, this is not meant to be a big burden. This first one might be a little bit challenging our very first week. It's cool. Do your best. If you have problems, just come ask me. Uh, just let me know when you're doing this. If you're not ready for it to be done, I can just hit save draft and it'll, it'll, um, it'll, uh, you know, not make it so everybody can see it. I can see it. I can go log away and go to class, come back, work on it tomorrow. When I'm ready, ready, I just hit publish. Uh, I'll have, I don't have the categories up. I'll have all the categories for your posts. You'll select what category it goes under. And uh, it's just that simple. And you hit post. And then when we, so for example, if I publish this, just right now, if I publish this, right? So it's, it's, it's got the title. I didn't really write anything. It's got nah, 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 nah. And this, I can, I can play the video from within right, the website. Paul. It, if there was a picture, it would show the picture, right? All that kind of good stuff. So that's what we're doing. So this will all be centralized into one place on the blog feed on our website. So just, just to reiterate before everybody runs away, you guys are gonna uh, do at least one scoop. Of, you can do more than this. You can do multiple blog posts if you want. You can do multiple scoop posts, that's cool. But a minimum of one by next Monday morning. Again, if you have problems, just send me an email. Dr. A can't figure out this. Um, I also have office hours on Monday morning or Monday afternoon, two to three. If you guys want it, if you're just stuck. 
come on in. You know, the first the first week, if you're having problems, don't worry about the nine o'clock. Just try to get it done. But if you can't, we'll we'll get it up. Um, uh, or sorry, that's by Friday. Monday is your blog post, and then by Thursday, have commented on it. Cool. All right, I'll have some more detailed videos up uh, for you guys to to look at if that's new to you, or. We'll take a five minute break or I can help you get it started right now on one of the lab computers if you if you want a little bit of